I'm Mike Purdy for Expert Village. Here's where you find out how to set up an online radio station. Now this is kind of a tricky part, how we hook the sound card up, and I did this strictly through trial and error, but here's what I wound up with. I have a Sound Blaster external USB sound card. What I did is I ran a patch cord from the headphone jack, right here you can see, this is a mini phone stereo patch cord, and notice the volume is on six there. I ran that directly around to the line input of the external USB sound card. There's the line input. So I had a patch cord that had mini phone plugs on one end and the two um, RCA plugs on the other end. Now you see this is where the USB cable plugs in to the uh, sound blaster and then the, US, the other end of the USB cable goes into the computer. You have to install the sound blaster. Then in your control panel of your computer you go down to sounds and audio devices, open that up, double click, and you, have, you notice we have audio. The default, default device in this case is USB audio because we're using the USB sound card click on volume of the playback, the playback volume, and in the playback volume what you want to do is mute the line input. Turn that down and mute it and you have the the speaker and wave playback set them about mid-range to begin with. These are going to be two of the volume controls that you're going to use to adjust how loud your player goes to your encoder. Then you go to sound recording of the USB device. Click on that volume. Now you're only going to need the line input. You don't need the mic input, don't need anything else, but the line input. This is of the recording side of it. You're going to actually have three volume controls. Set them about mid-range to begin with. And between these three, adjusting these three, and keep them pretty even, uh, you're going to adjust the level that is going from your player to your encoder. I know it looks a little confusing, but if you go through it step by step and you uh, have an external USB sound card, that should work. And it may work with an internal sound card too, although I haven't tried it.